There are two species of chalks found in India. These birds breed on higher altitudes and belong to the crow family. Red-billed chalk, also known as Cornish chalk, breed on mountains and coastal cliffs from the western coasts of Ireland through southern Europe to Central Asia, India and China. In India, especially they are found in higher altitudes ranging from 2400 to 3000 meters in Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim and the Himalayan ranges. Their plumage is velvety black, a green gloss body, long curved red bill and red legs. They often feed in flocks on short grazed grassland, mainly on invertebrate prey, and are known to making loud ringing calls. They pair for life and display fidelity to the breeding site. They usually build a wool lined stick nest on edges of cliffs. Red billed chogs have been depicted on postage stamps of a few countries, including Isle of Man, Bhutan, and even Gambia, where the bird doesn't occur. With widely spread feathers, the flight is aerobatic, wheeling and swooping in updrafts. They have a wedge-shaped tail but are comparatively shorter than that of the yellow-billed chalks. Juveniles are less glossy and have shorter grey yellow bill. They look similar to jackdaws but jackdaws are comparatively smaller and have an unglossed grey plumage. Yellow bill chog, also known as alpine chog or slightly smaller than the red bill chogs, but has a proportionally longer tail and shorter wings. In India, they are found in the higher altitudes ranging from 3500 to 5000 meters in Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Himachal Pradesh and Sikkim. They have a glossy black plumage, a short yellow bill, dark brown irises and red legs. They nest at a higher altitude compared to any other birds. Highest ever recorded nest has been 6,500 meters, even surpassing the red billed chog. They lay 3 to 5 eggs that are cream buff to light green and have brown speckles. Their eggs have unique adaptations to the thin atmosphere that improve oxygen take up and reduce water loss. Juveniles are duller than the adult with a dull yellow bill and brownish legs. They mainly feed on invertebrates collected from the pastures such as beetles, snails, grasshoppers and caterpillars. In autumn, winter and early spring, they feed on a variety of berries and fruits. The flight is swift and acrobatic with loose deep wing beats. These birds always forage in groups and have the habit of hiding food in cracks and fissures, concealing the cache with a few pebbles. Their rippling and whistle calls are quite different from the typical crow-like calls.